Thank you, Wash. Son of a bitch. You just got charged. <laughs> Classic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Sarge here, and welcome back to the other channel. Today we're playing some more World of Tanks, and we're looking at some stuff today. And there's good news, and there's bad news. As you can see, we have the Waffen Trader E100 here in the garage. Same thing we played on Wednesday, and it is Friday. Since it didn't come out on Thursday, it came out Friday. The Gorilla 15 is now in the game. But where is it? Oh, it's in the tech tree. And here is where the bad news comes in. Bad news is. You have to go back down to tier 9 with the Waffen Trigger Panzer. Or, uh, I hated saying that. You have to get this tank back in order to get the Gorilla 15. There's no other way. I hated this tank so much. I thought I was done with it. Looks like I have to go back to it. And I'm not going to be getting the Gorilla 15 anytime soon, as you can see my silver situation. So it's going to be a while before we see any Gorilla 15 gameplay. I thought I would get it, you know, I, my initial thought was that it would replace the Waffen Tracker E100 like it did on PC, but <clears throat> I got some comments on the on Wednesday's video that it was not, and it was just going to be added along with it on the same line. So, here we are, 205,000 experience away from the Gorilla 15. The good news is, the Waffen Tracker E100 is still in the game. So enjoy your overpowered beast, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, we are going to overview the Gorilla 15 today. We're going to crunch some numbers and see the penetration, the damage output. And it's got a 150 millimeter gun. Check this beast out. Here it is. Look at the the barrel's so long you can't fucking see the tank without zooming all the way out. There we go. Look at this. It, it's based on a Panther chassis. It mounts a 150 millimeter long barreled high velocity gun. And the crew members are all bunched up in the back. There's like two in the front. You see the viewports in the front. There's there's two. Uh, there's a driver and a navigator. Then there's you know your gunner, your loader, your commander, and all that shit back here. You can see all the seats and stuff they got in here for them. Two of them are actually standing on the back, and I'll show you that in a minute. But let's le let's let's read to the description of the tank. In summer of 1942, the Waffen. The German, armor, the German Armory Weapon Agency concluded an agreement with the Krupp and Ramental companies for designing a tank destroyer on the chassis of the Panther tank. It was planned to mount either the 128mm K43 gun or the 150mm F, uh, SFH 43 howitzer. The projects were designed the grip, the, the, were designated Gorilla 12 and Gorilla 15, feature rear placement of the fighting compartment, and differed only in artillery system type. Later, the Gorilla 15 received a 150mm gun with a length of 63 calibers, which could penetrate 200mm of armor at 4,000 meters. However, the development was slow, and the Gorilla 15 remained only in blueprints. So that's what we have today. A 150mm gun with 63 caliber length that could penetrate 200mm of armor at 4,000 meters. That is insane in World of Tanks. You're going to penetrate so much so far. And now let's get into this, the actual stats of the video, of the, the, the tank, I mean. 850mm horsepower. Uh, power limit ratio is 21 horsepower per ton. Pretty good. Its top speed is 60 kilometers. Its reverse speed is shit with 15 kilometers, 15% fire chance. These small tanks with the uh, front engine mount easy to catch fire because that's, that's what you hit the engine first right yeah so that's the, that's the engine this thing's pretty quick then we'll move on to the gun the 150 millimeter pack L63 the reload time is 16.5 seconds aiming time is 1.5 seconds pretty good the accuracy is 0.27 at 100 meters max range is 720 max elevation 15 degrees and max depression is 8 degrees now let's go compare this reload speed and aim time to the next uh, best 150mm caliber gun which would be the E100's gun the 150mm the KWK L38 so aiming time is 2.9 and let's see the, 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 the loading time real quick what's the loading time? loading time is 20 seconds and the aim time is 2.9. This is the next best 150 millimeter in the game of uh, E100. 
<clears throat> I would call the E100 and the the Yeru had a baby and have created the uh, Gorilla 15 minus all the armor. They they got one of them jeans, you know, the the recessive armor gene didn't make it in. But you have 20 second reload with this gun. Does the same damage, has way less penetration, but does the same damage but 20 second reload. Let's go back to the Gorilla 15. Yeah, so you shave about seven, no, about four seconds off that reload, and then you have like double, uh, take away double the aiming time, 1.5 instead of 2.9. So, uh, like, you have half, almost half the reload speed on this, not half the aim time on this thing, and you do the E100, which is really, really good. Let's move on to the maneuverability. We got 24 degrees track rotation. Uh, I'm not sure if this thing is a f fully rotatable turret or not. I do not believe it is, though, since like the crew are like all bunched up in the back. So I th think it's like it doesn't have a fully rotatable turret. We'll, we'll find out, though. 720 m meter view range, and then the ammunition. We have some Panzer Granat shells here. We have, uh, I believe that's high explosive. Yeah, that's high explosive and armor piercing. I cannot see the. APCR or heat ammunition, whichever one it has at this time. But we're going to crunch some numbers real quick and see what the, p the penetration is. Let's see. 209 plus 349 divided by 2. 279 millimeters of penetration with standard. That's less than the Yeageru, which has a 170 millimeter gun, which has, has 299 millimeters of penetration with its standard and 420 with its APCR but I cannot tell or is it heat I don't got I forget so this thing has less penetration let's see what the damage is it's 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 750 I believe which is like all 150 millimeter gems we're gonna make sure here 563 plus 938 five by two yeah 750 average damage with this gun so you can do a thousand if you do get the uh, the uh, lucky roll there so basically a devastating long range high pin gun this thing has more uh, concealment than the Waffen Trigger 100 for sure and no auto loader so if you're looking to get you know kind of a stealthy bigger version of the Waffen Trigger Panzer 4 this is your thing and then here's, here's the crew We've got two in the front and you got like a pigsty of people in the back. You got you got your gunner, your loader, commander, and I think a radio man. Or oh, the radio man would be in the front, would it not? Yeah, it is. Okay. Who are these people? Maybe there's two loaders. I mean, it is a 150 mil millimeter shell, so would make sense. And if machine guns were in the game, you know, you got the DACA DACA guns on top of like the Soviet vehicles and stuff like that. You know, 50 calibers of freedom on the Americans. You could just fucking mow down all those crew in the back and just, like, da, 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 just fucking kill them all. Like, we've, we've, we've lost half our crew. What? Fucking 50 cal. 50 calibers of freedom. So basically, it's a maneuverable, stealthy, hard hitting tank. That's my consensus right here. I don't know very much about the tank. You know, just come out today, ne never played it, never seen it played. Uh, unfortunately, and then let's go the armor. Yeah, fifty millimeters at the most. So you have the top and the bottom, and basically the sides are like ten or it's one through twenty. I wish it would tell me the exact, but it doesn't. It's probably ten though, somewhere around there. Ten or eleven millimeters of armor. Then we go to this uh, upper glacius, lower glacius. Uh, track armor, which is 21 through 30, and then we have the little itty bitty, itty bitty, little track links on the front, which count as extra armor. I don't think anything is going to bounce off those unless it's a little tier 8 or 7 light tank. But however, yeah, you can see those little track links on it. It's hard to like look at this tank. All these helmets and seats and stuff in here. Yeah, this thing probably has two loaders. The ammunition is uh, in the bottom by the way. Uh, below the gun. <clears throat> so giant ass tank 
Not a giant ass tank, but a giant ass gun on a small tank. I'm gonna be working to get this. It's gonna be a while before you see any gameplay of it. I am sorry for that. Uh, that's the problem with my channel is I'm not big enough to have you know press accounts or uh, free gold or you know. Nor do I have the money to buy the gold to get the XP to get these tanks for you guys. I apologize for that. Uh, I'm sure there's other channels that already have it. Have it. I'm sure there's other channels that already have it, uh, ready to go, a review out for you. You know all that good shit. Uh, I just don't have the capacity to do that as of yet, and I do apologize for that. But I'm giving you what I can on this glorious Friday. We're not gonna play any tanks today. We're just gonna take a look at the at the Gorilla 15. Uh, I've heard it's pretty good. It's it's just a big, you know, you get 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 yourself into a good bush. 200 millimeters of penetration at 400 meters or 4,000 meters. You're gonna roast some excellent shit. You can probably go right through the front. Let's see, E100 turret is like 280, I think. Let's take a look at that really quick. Yeah, about 280 at the front of the turret. Where is it? Is it? Oh shit! Yeah, huh. I believe it's 280 or 250. Yeah, 250 millimeters of armor at the front. You have 279 of penetration. Depending on the angle, effective thickness, you can go right through the turret of an E100 without using premium, which is pretty fucking amazing. The mouse, for sure. You know, mouse has a weak turret. It's it's the same thickness at two. No, it's 240. It's 240, but it's got that flat. You know, there's just no angle to it, like the E100's turret. Take a look at some tanks that you might not be able to penetrate. What has a lot of armor? IS-7, IS-4, depending on the angle of course, you can go right through IS-7. Yeah, the, the front of the turret is just uh, impenetrable, so don't shoot there, but like, you know, just about anywhere else, you know, that, that, that uh, pike knows, depending on the angle of course, you can penetrate pretty good. So this thing is going to be a penetrating high damage beast which is about all I have to talk to you guys about today here's the walking trigger 100 I hope you all enjoy this video I know it's kinda short and there's no gameplay but I just want to show you guys around the new Gorilla 15 you know g give you a rundown of what it's about I'm sure there's other channels that have the Gorilla 15 review ready to go and everything for y'all to see if you want to get it unfortunately the bad news is you gotta go back to the Waffentrager Panzer IV to get that tank. The good news is the Waffentrager, the mighty Waffle, is here to stay for all to get shit on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Sarge. Signing out.